Okay, if you're here, it's because your Tango 2's red light is not shutting off no matter what you do. You've held down the power button for 25 seconds, you've tried to press all the buttons, nothing is getting this thing to shut off. And it happened probably after you put it on the USB charger and then took it off, and now it's just stuck. And it won't turn on, it won't do anything. Good news is, this is resolvable, we're gonna have to do a firmware update. Bad news is, to get that light to go off, you're probably going to have to open up the radio. Now to open up the radio is really pretty simple. There's these covers here on the grip pads and I recommend using this little plastic tool to pry the covers off. They come off really pretty easy and then that will basically reveal some screws underneath here. I'm not going to do that on this video. Once you're inside, the connector is really, really easy to pull and then put back together and then you should be done it will you, you won't drain your battery down with that little red light which is what you want to get in there and open that thing up before it just drains the battery out and runs it too low now to prevent this from happening again you must update the firmware so we're going to go ahead and do that on the pc to flash the firmware you're going to need an application called tbs agent x i have a link to that down in the description below once you've got the app open, you're going to plug in your Tango 2 radio and you're going to turn it on. You're going to make sure you have a USB-C data cable. Now, from the menu, you'll have a few options. You want to pick the Agent X option. And this is what will allow the radio to interface with the PC and the Agent X app. So you're going to go ahead and click Manage for your Tango 2. Now, I have already have mine updated to 1.13. This issue was fixed in 1.12. The current firmware is 1.13. Now, if you have 1.11, that's where the problem started. So, to access the firmware, you won't initially see it in the firmware listing. And that's because, at least at the time of this video, the firmware is beta. So if you're looking here and you're like, where's the firmware? It's, it's not going to show up for you because you need to enable beta firmwares. Now to do that, in the upper right-hand corner here near login are these three dots. This is where you can get to the settings page. Now this is the important thing you need to click. You need to click include beta firmware. There's a little checkbox there. Now you have to hit save. And the firmware should show up. But if they don't, go back to that settings page with the three dots there and click reload product firmware and this will refresh the firmware files where hopefully you'll be able to get to them. Now make sure that your Tango 2 is sufficiently charged and you should be able to uh, update the firmware on the device. There's a second issue that I want to talk about while we're in here because after updating to this and I tried to bind to one of my receivers, the Nano, and it wouldn't bind. I kept getting an error. This forced me to go under uh, Tango 2 XF, and this is the area in the Agent X where you can update the actual Crossfire module. So if we click Manage here, and we go to Firmware, um, 3.73, this is the version that supposedly fixed that issue, fixes that issue if you're having binding problems. So you can go ahead and do that as well. They say only to do it if you're having binding problems, which I did. And the procedure for that is the exact same. You're going to go to the dots in the corner. You're going to make sure you have include beta firmware. You might need to click reload product firmware to get that list to come up. And don't forget to click save. And then that's it. So that's it. I hope this video helped you resolve your stuck on red light issue with your new TBS Tango 2. I want to keep this video short and sweet. It's just about this issue. I see this getting posted almost every day in the Facebook groups. So I figured I'd do a video on it and I hope it helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing and leaving a like on this video. If you got any questions, please leave them down there in the comments below and I'll try to help you out with the whole update. Um, also keep an eye on my channel if you would. I'm going to do a review of this. I have decided to keep it even though that initial issue really annoyed me. I would encourage you as well to keep it because since updating it, I've not had any issues at all. I know it doesn't inspire confidence to have your radio lock up on you almost immediately after uh, opening it out of the box, but TBS did address the issue pretty quickly, and like I said, I've been pretty happy with it ever since I got it on the newest firmware for both the Crossfire module and the Tango 2 itself, which definitely fixes the problem. I have not had it since. 
All right, so that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm going to go do some flying with this. Take care. Take me away from home Show me all the places I've never known I will chase the night Race all of these broken dreams and flight